Morning, my cotton killers. How's it going? All good? Yeah? Nice one. So, thanks for joining me today, guys. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, today, I'm going to be uh, basically showing you a couple of tricks that you can do with your LiPo charger. Um, more specifically, the charger that you get from Danny Laws. Um, I believe it's quite a well-known charger, so there's probably a lot of you out there that have got this particular LiPo charger. Um, I'm hoping so, anyway. But basically, I've got to, I've got to stress this before I uh, go any further with this video, guys. Um, this technique I'm going to be showing you, it's it's safe to a certain degree. Um, it's safe if you stay with the lipo and you you don't leave it, don't be going off and having a fucking bath or a, you know a jog um, while you while you've left this setting on because it's it's not recommended. Okay, um, you need to just just good common sense guys yeah um you know you're fucking about with a lipo battery and uh you're basically force feeding it energy when uh it, the when the charger won't charge it because you've run the cells too low um so there's a way of getting around it and yeah i'm going to show you how to do it but like i've said guys just be safe all right don't be leaving it on its own unattended okay um yeah that's i just want to get that out there before i go any further um it's not recommended to do this but like myself uh i got myself in a pickle one day and ran my lipo too low and um it wouldn't charge so i learned this technique so yeah i'm going to share it with you guys all right so uh sit tight and uh i'll see you down in a second right my chicken nuggets let's fucking do it so here you have it this is the uh the imax b6 ac v2 the lipo charger uh, this one's sourced from uh, danny laws uh, i believe he sends this one with all of his box mods now i'm sure i'm not the first person this has happened in fact i know i'm not the first person this has happened to this is quite a regular uh, problem i believe that happens with lipos uh, well with the charger more than anything uh, it's a safety feature sometimes you can run the one of the cells to the point where the the lipo charger won't uh, it won't read it it won't kick the cycle in to start recharging the cells so this is what happens um, i've purposely ran one of my lipos down just for the purpose of this video because i wanted to show you how to get around it so it's all connected lipo is all connected i've got the alarm in uh, just here connected and I've got the wires connected on the output side of things as well. So it's all connected, ready to go. So you could go to press your start button to get it going. And that happens, okay? First time that happened, um, I nearly burst into tears because I thought I'd ruined my LiPo and I'd only had it a couple of days. And uh, my whole world came crashing down on me very quickly. But then uh, I spoke to the man himself, uh, Mr. Danny Laws, and he showed me this method. So that's what I'm doing now, guys. So, first step, disconnect the LiPo alarm. So this one here, okay? This little white one, take that out. So all you've got plugged in is this side here. Let me see if I can get the camera around a little bit. Right, so all you've got is these ones in, okay? In the output, just there. That's all that's connected, and obviously your power side as well, your power cable. So you've got your LiPo battery here, I'll put that there. Okay, then you want to press battery program, so press that once, press it again, comes brings you into the, the menu, so you want to go down into NIMH or NIMH as I like to call it. You want to press start, now you want to do this at 1 amp, which is what I've got it set at now. So just one amp okay like I stressed earlier when you do this guys there's a couple of things you need to be doing firstly do not and I repeat do not do this and leave it unattended you need to be staying with this battery the whole time you're doing this process okay I don't want you to cause you know harm to your house or your family think of the others around you you've got to be careful this could go up in flames right it could do it could the battery could explode so this is why if if done properly 
and it's done in little small increments, right? It's it's perfectly safe. There's a couple of things you need to be looking out for. Obviously, keep your eye on your LiPo battery. Make sure there's no swelling or there's no smoking or anything like that. And what you want to be doing is what I do and what I was told to do is basically start this up. Now, basically what it's doing is it's force feeding uh, energy into the battery it's like a flat battery you jump start in it this is what's going on right now I do it for 20 seconds okay so as soon as that hits 20 seconds boom right now I don't know whether that's done the whole job right now but that's as far as I'm willing to push it uh, without causing any major strain on the battery so that's what I do, and that's what I recommend you guys do. Do it in 20 second increments, okay? So now I'm gonna connect the LiPo alarm back up. Just putting it in there. That's that. Now, back into the menu. Up, up, up to LiPo bat. LiPo balance charge, okay? Make sure it's a balanced charge. And let's see if it works. And it's working. So there you go. Say, so, I've had to do it a couple of times on some occasions. Um, I've had to do that process once or twice uh, to get it going. But I've never had to do it any more than twice, to be honest with you guys. And I say, it, it does work. It's not 100% recommended. But as long as you're safe and, you know, don't be scared of what you're doing. Just have... A bit of respect okay just respect your lipo and like i say just practice common sense really don't leave it unattended try not to do this method too many times because it does put strain on your lipo battery this is kind of a last resort yeah i'll say it's one thing that can happen when when this has happened is obviously you've probably drained one of your cells pretty damn low so let's check so yeah my middle cells pretty low yeah there, there's quite the gap there so what we can actually do um, here guys is once we've put a little bit of a charge in it for say 30 minutes we can stop and then we can go to discharge okay you can then discharge the power out of your lipo which will then balance your cell you basically repeat this process of charging balancing Okay. I haven't put enough power, uh, enough charge through my cells from when I run it low. But I'm just telling you what setting to go into. Once you've charged your battery, when you've drained it, and I've just showed you how to uh, give it a jump start, basically charge it, give it a good charge for an hour or so, and then, yeah, check your cells. Check your cells and... Um, yeah if there's a big gap you want to have them between i would say uh point 10 to point 15 units in between each cell so say if that one's 374 375 um three say 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 375 you want these two to be 365 of that one um you want them to be pretty even so it drains even and so forth so so yeah that's that's basically uh, how to get around that guys um i hope you know this has helped i hope uh, you do what i say and be very safe whilst doing this guys you know this is no joke i've seen pictures of some poor bastards fucking garage all burnt down and houses burnt down because people haven't fully respected their lipos i mean they haven't they just haven't used common sense you know that's all it needs guys common sense all right so that's it. I'm going to uh, bring the camera back up, have a little vape, a little chat with you, tell you what's happening in uh, clean cotton killer world. And yeah, I'll see you in a second. So, there you have it, guys. That's it. Um, you know, I can't stress enough, guys. You know, I want you to be safe, please. You know, just do this at your own risk. Um, is it just... Keep your eye on your lipo. Make sure there's no swelling um, and there's no smoking or anything like that. And, uh, you know, use a lipo bag if you've got one to charge and discharge your battery. You know, keep be safe. And, um, 
yeah, I, ho I hope this has helped. I hope this has helped in some way. Um, I say I, I've, I'm sure I'm not the only person this has happened to, which is why I'm putting the video up. Um, because I think if you, you know, if you got professional advice like I did, they'd pretty much tell you the steps that I've just showed you. So that being said, um, you know that that's it, guys. That, that's it's pretty damn simple. No more than twenty seconds at a time, and uh, no higher than one amp is my recommended uh, my recommended levels to do it at. Okay. So yeah. Um, Right, so yeah, we've got uh, we've got plenty of stuff coming up, guys. We've got loads and loads of reviews to co to do. I've got plenty of hardware to do. Um, I'm going to be putting a review up for the new uh, Kennedy twenty five millimeter soon. Um, yeah, going to be doing this. I'm just kind of getting a good feel for it at the minute. But yeah, I'm going to be putting a review up for this very soon. Also, the new underground uh, eighteen six fifty tube mod, twenty two millimeter tube. Um, awesome little tube i'm say I'm, I'm just getting a feel for it and uh yeah a review is going to be coming up very soon it might even be later on today so uh so yeah and i've got a fucking ton of juice to do as well guys so uh loads and loads of good good juice and yeah so i hope uh you all uh you're all doing well and i hope you have a good day for the rest of today and um yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Please remember to uh, subscribe to the channel if this was helpful and you enjoyed the video at all, guys. It, it means a lot to me. And, um, yeah, that's it, really. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, yeah, Facebook page, Clean Cotton Killers, all one word, all capital letters, head over there. Uh, we're going to be doing another giveaway soon uh, for, some, uh, for some juice. So, yeah, head over there and uh, stay tuned. That will be going on very soon. So... Until next time, guys, keep it clean, my cotton killers. Real clean.